Hi folks, welcome back to Getting Started with Laravel 4. Today we're going to install Composer as that's a prerequisite for Laravel. Also, for Windows users, we'll install a proper command line tool because, well, the default Windows command line just doesn't cut it for a developer. But don't worry, this is really just a few simple steps and even on Windows. If you already have Composer and a proper command line tool installed, feel free to skip to the next video. Okay, now one of the reasons Laravel has taken the PHP community by storm is that it leverages Composer. Now if you don't know what Composer is, think of it as a package manager for PHP. You can use the Composer package manager to bring in all kinds of existing PHP code libraries into your projects. These libraries live on packages.org. Okay, so what kind of packages are they? Well, think, for instance, of image manipulation, or maybe even authentication, or maybe even export to Excel. Well, basically, Laravel is just another Composer package, only it's an entire framework, and it's quite popular, as you can see. Okay, on to installing Composer. I'll cover Mac first and Windows after. On Mac, Things are really simple. Mac already comes with a command line tool installed. It's called Terminal and it's located in your application folder. Now you can use Finder or the Spotlight to open it, but I'll use Alfred, which is a bit like Spotlight on steroids. Okay, so now that's open and it's time to go back to getcomposer.org. Now I'll just click the Getting Started button and scroll down to Installation Unix globally. Just click that link and here you notice these two lines where you need to paste these two into your terminal. So we'll start with this one. Now basically what that will do is it will download a far file through curl from this URL here. And think of a far file as some sort of a PHP executable. Okay, so once that's downloaded, go back and copy the second line. And just paste that into your terminal as well. Now what this will do is it will move your downloaded composer.far file and place it in your user local bin folder under the name composer. And that will just make it available globally. So now what you could do is just type in composer from anywhere in your terminal and that should give you a listing of all available composer commands. Okay, you see? And that's how you install composer globally on a Mac. Now on Windows, there's a couple more steps, but nothing scary. The first thing you need is access to a Linux-like command line tool. Now, if you've never used the command line, don't let that scare you because you love it, as it will speed up your workflow quite a bit. Actually, a modern web developer cannot do without it. Now, if you're on Windows, you can use a tool like Sigwin, or MinGW, or even just Git for Windows. And as with all of these websites, I'll leave links in the lesson notes. Now, I know setting up a command line tool is a bit confusing for a lot of Windows users, so here's a quick rundown. You go over to sigwin.com and download the appropriate version. Now, there's a 32 and a 64-bit version of Sigwin, but just pick the one that matches your computer setup. Next, you just run the installer. Now, this is going to take a couple of minutes, so I'll just fast forward. Okay, and here we are again. Time to finish up. Just click complete and you're good to go. Now that we have a command line tool available, let's download Composer. Okay, Windows users, your installation executable is under using the installer. Just download and run composer-setup.exe. When setting up Composer on Windows, you first need to point to your php.exe file. Now on this window box, I have XAMPP installed, and that means my php.exe file lives in my XAMPP directory inside of the PHP folder. So here it is. Okay, Composer now tells me to add two system path variables. So let's do that right away. You add system path variables in your configuration screen under System, Advanced. Okay, now the first system path variable I'll call PHP, and that will contain the path to php.exe. Okay, and the second one I'll call Composer, and that will contain the actual path to Composer. So now we can go back to the Composer installer, just click Install, and well, that's pretty much it. So now if I open Sigwin and type Composer C, here's a listing of all Composer commands 
but on Windows. Also, I can do things like check the PHP version by typing PHP-V. But that's not all. I can now run dozens of Linux commands inside of this tool. And that will come in handy for the rest of the course. So now that we have our tools installed, let's install our first Laravel project. And we'll do that in the next video. I'll see you there.